It's been a real privilege this past year to have been able to do some really positive, uplifting news stories. I really think it's something that people really need right now. And I know for me personally, as a journalist, certainly had a very positive impact on my life. Just hope I get her all in the trailer. Take the story we did, for example, with Newfoundlander Paula Gould, now living in Moncton. She saw the sheer devastation of what Tropical Storm Fiona had created in her hometown of Port of Basque, and she didn't miss a beat. She immediately put out a call for donations for people who had truly lost everything. And within just a few days, her garage was filled, and she was hitting the road to Newfoundland with a trailer full of compassion. She get the water. My heart is full. I'm just so overwhelmed and so happy. It's just, it's awesome. It was absolutely heartwarming to see, and it gave me a sense of hope in humanity. Let's face it, the last couple of years have been tough for everyone, really. And uh, it's been a privilege to be able to get out into the community and tell these good news stories and show people that it's not all bad news out there. There are good things that are happening in the community. And I know for me, personally at least, it's really brought me a sense of gratitude. <laughs> And sometimes you find it in the most unexpected places, too. I never expected when I came across this group of RC truck enthusiasts in a park one day and decided to do a story, the depth of the impact they were having on the community. I saw a side of my son that, that we always longed to see, and it just popped out spontaneously. It's so cool that I could steer it with a remote. Welcoming a young man with autism named Eddie into their fold, turned out to be life-changing for the family, and really for me too, to witness this beautiful young boy break out of his shell was an absolute privilege. Anything that we can do for awareness, anything that we can do to help, it's all something, right? Well, that certainly was the case for a PEI family who opened their home to a cherry farmer fleeing the Ukraine. It has changed our lives in just a very, very meaningful way and for a Moncton photographer who had the courage to speak openly about his prostate cancer, hoping to help other men. This is a cancer that men don't want to deal with, don't want to go through. And the smile, her teeth. I have to admit, I cannot turn down a good animal story. So having had the opportunity over the last year to do some pretty amazing animal stories, uh, well, I was just like, sign me up been uh, a rough couple of years for everybody and animals of all shapes and sizes are known to have a calming effect on people. <laughs> Goat yoga was truly therapeutic and uplifting. I mean how can you not smile when you're trying to do downward dog surrounded by baby goats scampering around? which was also true for Pugapalooza, where dozens of grumpy-faced pugs ran around in a fantastically fun frenzy. I think they just have a face that only a mother could love. And speaking of a good laugh. Not one rooster sounds the same as the other one, so I think it's kind of cool. New Brunswick's rooster rescuer, well, he left a smile on my face for days. Well, clearly you have good neighbors. My neighbors are good. They even come here and bring food for them or, or treats. Now this next story really touched my heart. The story of Canadian gold medal swimmer named Jonathan Henry. Swimming is my whole life. I love swimming so much. It made a big splash this year. He brought home eight medals, seven of them were gold at the World Down Syndrome Swimming Championships in Portugal. See, I told you that's why I'm not retiring, he said. Jonathan beat the odds, reminded us to never put limits on ourselves. It was a wonderful reminder that these types of good news stories, they have a major impact on our viewers and on us as journalists. It feels like they're contributing to the greater good.